Lynn Fox believes that a sustainable future depends on human activity observing sustainability principles in environmental performance. That's why Lynn Fox is committed to improving its environmental performance across our entire business. We've made substantial progress on this improvement since 2007 and it's just the beginning. We're planning for a lot more transitional change in energy use by 2015. We'll bring about this change through strong leadership, improved systems, sustainable behaviours, all within the framework of Vision Zero. Linfox is a large Asia-Pacific logistics company with 20,000 employees, 5,000 vehicles and 1.8 million square metres of warehousing. We use a great deal of energy to move our customers' goods to market. And we've accepted the scientific evidence that the energy we use, sourced from hydrocarbons, contributes to global warming and climate change. We accept our responsibility to act sustainably as a global corporate citizen, to ensure that future generations have the same opportunities that we've enjoyed. That's why we've set ourselves a target. Lind Fox will reduce its rate of emissions from its Asia-Pacific operations by 50% by 2015, based on 2006-2007 emission levels. Much of the technology towards a low carbon economy is still in development, but in the meantime, much can and has been done by our employees to reduce emissions. We have adopted a carbon reduction cycle and we have introduced changes in attitude and operational behaviours. We'll outline our main areas of focus which you can see on this pyramid. We have identified seven main areas of focus to assist us in achieving our 2015 target. The first is aerodynamic vehicle design. Put simply, aerodynamic drag is caused as air passes over the surface of the vehicle. The amount of drag is dependent on the shape of the vehicle's body. Because heavy vehicles like trucks have bluff shapes, pressure drag can be very high and contribute up to 20% of fuel use. Most of the research and development effort is being concentrated in this area to make trucks and trailers more aerodynamic. Linfox is working with Monash University to evaluate vehicle design that will minimise energy loss from aerodynamic drag. Tyre technology is another important way we are reducing energy use. Correctly inflated tyres reduce rolling resistance and therefore fuel use. In fact, a tyre underinflated by 10% on a truck will, on average, increase fuel consumption by 1%. It's estimated that the average Australian fleet vehicle has, on average, a 12% underinflation of tyres. Right, what we have here is a tyre pressure monitoring system. The Tyremax system will monitor both over and under pressure of tyres and it will automatically adjust the tyre pressure to the parameters that have been set in the computer. That improves fuel economy, gives greater safety and minimises the chance of tyre fires. The benefits of improved vehicle utilisation are enormous. Previously in the retail business, the GPS type system that we used was not in real time and we would wait two days to analyse the information. The solution we chose is the Trimble Geo Manager system powered by the Telstra NextG network, now known in Linfox as the Foxtrack system. We now have real time information flow whereas previously we didn't. What that means is we can share with our customer when a vehicle is leaving a distribution centre and arriving at their store and then departing again. That enables them to know where their product is at any time. Previously, we would have supervisors roaming the, the field, focused on hotspots where vehicles park up and take extended breaks. The trial um, illustrated a 5% improvement in asset utilisation. Our expectation is that we'll maintain that or improve on that 5% going forward with the rollout to the rest of the business. Electricity savings are another important way we're reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Approximately 20% of Linfox greenhouse emissions relate to electricity use. Linfox has conducted energy audits across all warehouses and recently produced a guide on nine ways to reduce electricity use at home and at work. This book includes checklists 
and recommendations on major areas of electricity use and has been enthusiastically introduced by Lynn Fox sites like Procter & Gamble. One of the initiatives here at Lynn Fox Procter & Gamble facility is the off-peak charging of our forklifts to reduce our energy consumption. The facility was designed with energy savings in mind and the use of substantial natural light. And the backup from that is allows us to have automatic light systems at the time of light diminishing. Another initiative from the design of the building is it was designed to farm our own water. The water is stored underneath the car park in bladders and is reused across our gardens. So Limfox is using software to identify carbon emissions in supply chains. We're able to identify and map carbon savings resulting from changed transport modes, vehicle types, by changing transport routes and by changing supply sources within existing supply chains. Such changes can save up to 10% in carbon emissions with little or no incremental financial cost. Eco driving is another very important way that we can use energy more efficiently. Approximately 80% of Lynn Fox's greenhouse emissions are by vehicle use. One of the most important factors in determining the levels of vehicle emission is the way in which the vehicle is operated by the driver. That's why Lynn Fox has introduced an EcoDrive program that focuses on 10 ways of driving more efficiently. Through the program, drivers are taught to skip shift gears, accelerate slowly, minimise air conditioner use, Shift to neutral for short stops, use cruise control, avoid excessive idling, utilise the mass of the vehicle to maintain momentum, drive smoothly, plan ahead to anticipate traffic flow and to drive a vehicle off slowly when starting and to limit the engine load until the engine warms up. EcoDrive delivers on average 10% improvement on fuel economy. It's also a safer way to drive and it reduces the costs of repairs and maintenance. Lastly, green energy sits at the all-important base of our emissions target pyramid. Here we're talking about two forms of green energy, biodiesel and green electricity. Biodiesel is diesel made from biological sources, such as vegetable oils or animal fats. Lindfox will increasingly blend biodiesel with mineralised diesel to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 20% per litre of fuel used. Green electricity is electricity generated from non-hydrocarbon sources, such as solar, nuclear, wind, hydro and geothermal. Linfox already has some buildings supplied with energy from these sources and this will be an important part of our energy reduction strategy in the future. Linfox has set a target of a 50% reduction of its carbon emissions by 2015 based on 2006-2007 levels and we've already made significant progress. Greenhouse gas emission reduction is a key element in becoming a sustainable company to ensure that our activities enable the next generation to enjoy the same benefits that we've had. Sustainable development is a journey that will benefit all of us. Linfox has made a good start on the journey, but the next steps will be harder and will require more investment in terms of time, energy and resources. Linfox is committed to the sustainable development journey and we all need to contribute to ensure we reach our destination. Our commitment to the journey is vital for the sake of our employees, our customers, our business and our families and the future of the world we live in.